Years ago, I created the rule set for Brawler Mode, a way to play Doom Eternal that not just imposes restrictions, but is designed to make you think and move differently. Thanks to the new official modding ability for Doom Eternal, playing Brawler Mode has never been easier. A quick search for Brawler will pull it up and just choose which version you want to play. There are three versions of Brawler, Vanilla, Plus, and X. If you're a casual player, I recommend Vanilla. Experienced players that are used to being able to quick swap SSG should be playing Brawler Plus or X. Both Plus and X remove the super shotgun, putting a lot more pressure on the full auto mod, draining more shotgun shells, keeping you on the ground, and making the game less about high DPS quick swap combos. Brawler X removes the chainsaw and makes you entirely dependent on the Tag 2 hammer for ammo. If you've never played Brawler before, it'll take you a while to get used to it. It's punishing, it's limiting, it's merciless. But it's also very satisfying and different. I'm gonna give you a refresh on the rules as well as some crucial strategies. I made several videos about the Brawler mod years ago, which I'll link below, but I'll go over a bunch of stuff here. Brawler sets out to encourage brutal in-your-face combat, less runaway, more up-close action. We accomplish this three ways. One, we remove your most powerful long-range options, being lock-on rockets and the ballista entirely. Two, we severely limit your resources and abilities, keeping ammo at the default quantity, a single frag grenade, and only one health upgrade because it's necessary to pass the sentinel crystal section between levels 1 and 2, which also means no sentinel crystal abilities. If you're playing Brawler Plus or X, you also won't be able to fly around in the air with the meat hook. And three, we limit your ability to break weak points. We do this by banning the Ballista, the Precision Bolt mod, Sticky Bombs, and Heat Blast, which can break weak points when fully charged. Now you're dealing with more heavy enemy weapons, and if you want to break weak points, you're going to need to do sustained damage on them or set up a Blood Punch. Also, Microwave Beam, while I love it, is banned because being able to make an enemy freeze in front of you is just not what Brawler is about. Brawler has an emphasis on remote detonation falter strategies, full auto executions for shell recharge, glory kills, and blood punch. I recommend you watch my videos on advanced faltering, remote detonation, and full auto strategies. Do not play on Ultra Nightmare. Brawler mode is not balanced for that at all. I don't care how good you are, don't set yourself up to hate this rule set by forcing yourself into a permadeath loop. So, Sentinel Crystal upgrades are banned, the runes Chrono Strike and Equipment Fiend are also banned, Double Frag Grenade and Barrels Giving Ammo are banned, as is the Ice Bomb completely. BFG and Unmaker are banned, however the Unmaker is legal in the Tag 1 Trial of Malagog against the Boxes and against the Eyeballs in the Seraphim boss. Extra Lives are banned, no intentional use of glitches or speedrun skips. All Slayer Gates are required, except the Halt because it's ridiculous on Brawler's health values. Certain weapon mods are banned, Sticky Bombs, Precision Bolt, both Heat Blast and Microwave, Lock-On Rockets, and Energy Shield. You can use Microwave Beam against the Spirits in the Seraphim fight only, not the Possessed Demons. And you may have to go into the Weapons menu to manually activate the mod once you get to the fight. The hammer has been rebalanced to require four charges like in horde mode, and pickups only give two. The meat hook only works on grapple points in tag two if you're going to play Brawler Plus or X. And here are some Brawler strategies and tips to make things a little smoother. Toss a frag grenade into a Kaku Demon's mouth for a glory kill. Use plasma to set up glory kills instead of wasting shotgun or heavy ammo. Use a remote debt rocket above shield guys for glory kill setups. Use remote detonation for falter setups against Mancubi. Dash in for a blood punch and then a direct rocket. Then set up a glory kill with plasma or a kill with full auto. Mastered full auto shotgun gives 3 shells back for fodder demons, 6 for heavy demons, and 9 for super heavy demons. Wear down the enemies and use full auto executions to stock up on ammo during battle. Rocket swap combos can be done with micro missiles just with a different timing, or just do a little spraying in between rockets to spread out your ammo. You can't kill spirits, so save the possessed demon for the end, or try to get it to possess a fodder demon and leave it alone. For blood makers, target their heads with rockets and spray some micro missiles. For maker drones, use remote detonation falter and then a full auto headshot. For turrets, use the mobile turret of the chain gun. Be very careful when you use flame belch. Try to target groups of enemies because it has a long recharge and you can only hold 50 armor. 
On Brawler X, use Blood Punches to break both Mancubus guns, and then Glory Kill to get three-fourths of a hammer charge from one enemy. Alright, now go out there and suffer. I mean, have fun. Have fun. And Brawler merch is still available at my merch store. Check out those cool designs. Thank you to Convaz for developing these mods for me, and to Ubercringe for helping me get them ready for the official mod portal. Thank you id Software for giving us this amazing opportunity.